to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a quick demo. Can we create trigger on temp tables and system tables in SQL Server? This question is very typical question people ask you in the interview. So let's go to SSMS and take a look. Right now what I have here, I have some script. Um, I can use any database what I want. Right uh, here I have sales database so I'm going to use one of that. Uh, I'm creating a, this is a temp table. So let's create this temp table with the first name, last name and the other information. So if we select uh, the data from temp table, we will have the temp sale person. Now if I go ahead and want to create the trigger, DML trigger, insert or update or, or, or delete on this table, let's see if it will let me. So I'm creating a trigger, so I'm giving the name of the trigger, then I'm saying on table. That's, uh, the, that's how the definition uh, uh, or the way you write your trigger or create your trigger and then you say after insert or update or uh, delete and then you say um, that's where your body is going to be. So I'm just selecting the record from uh, inserted. So let's create this one and see what we get. The message we got it is telling us uh, we cannot create trigger on temporary object. So this is a, the local temp table we have created. I'm going to create a global temp table and see if that works for us. So right now I'm creating global temp table and we table is ready. Now we are changing the create trigger definition to the global temp table. Create this one and we got the same message. So we cannot create uh, the trigger on uh, local or global uh, temp tables in SQL Server. So that's very first part of our uh, question. Second part is uh, can we create uh, the uh, trigger on uh, system uh, tables? So let's uh, take a look. Right now I am in uh, I have this script uh, that I wrote for you guys and here what we have I'm using a cursor and I'm creating a trigger so I want to get first of all I want to create the trigger on only system tables so how I will get that system tables here what I have I'm in the MSDB database right now and I'm selecting a table name and schema from the sys.tables where is MS shipped is one so they came with Microsoft uh, shipped so when when we install that uh, SQL server they came automatically with the, that product so we didn't create them and uh, execute this one and we see all those system tables here so I have 143 system tables uh, in the MSDB so if I want to create a cursor on them I can go ahead and create a cursor so what I did uh, uh, it is kind of complicated if I go ahead and create uh, the complete cursors and uh, after update provide the column names and then select the data it will be really lengthy process for me for each of the table uh, table so and I, I have to write a lot of dynamic SQL to do that so what I did uh, I said create table sorry create trigger and then I use the schema name and then I use uh, the trigger uh, this uh, keyword trg underscore test and then I took the table name from the variable that I saved in the cursor and uh, then I uh, told on and then uh, schema name and table. So this will print as uh, create a trigger uh, and the trigger name and then on the table and I'm creating after update trigger so I begin here and I'm not doing doing anything I'm not inserting the records into history table or other table here I'm just printing uh, print trigger ran successfully and select star from inserted okay so this is going to if we do some update it is going to return us uh, the record uh, that is in the inserted uh, um, temporary table or uh, you ma some people call this ma magical table some people are different uh, names for this one so we have inserted and deleted tables that will uh, save those records inside the trigger for us to use uh, for audit or a history purpose so I'm just selecting those records I'm not doing anything fancy here and then I'm executing my SQL and then I'm printing so I should be printing actually before before uh, I, I execute so let me go here and now the last one is again I'm fetching uh, the table name and schema name for the next uh, table uh, table and uh, that's how I'm passing back to the cursor 
here and it is in the loop and uh, creating the cursor for the next table so let me do one thing I'm gonna comment this out um, put the comments for execute SQL so I'm not a executing right now I'm going to print the statement for all those uh, system tables so here this is how our trigger will be created so we'll have to create trigger and then we have uh, the name of the trigger with the schema and then we'll say on the table and then we say after update and begin and this is how the body of the trigger will be and uh, this is the first uh, trigger then it is going to create for the second table and keep do doing for 143 tables so we can run this script we can copy this script from here and I can take it and put in the new window and run it or I can uh, disable or take the comments out for execute SQL to, uh, execute SQL part and run my um, cursor to create all these uh, triggers so right now there are no triggers in this database let's uh, especially on uh, there could be let's see we are in the msdb so if we say sys star from sys dot triggers uh, let's see what triggers we have so there are 38 uh, triggers uh, they are coming with the microsoft uh, they came automatically we didn't create them so that's one reason uh, if you see my i i have the name starting with the trg test underscore so when i need to drop them i will drop only these triggers what i created so i do not want to drop all of the uh, system triggers so let me go ahead and uh, create uh, the trigger let's create trigger now so i did create the uh, triggers but it failed for some of them uh, that reason i know what happened here what we have it is saying cannot use a text and text or image column in the inserted or deleted tables so there are some system tables they are using their column has data type text and text image data types and they cannot be used in the inserted if we were remove from the select part of our query we might be able to use for uh, other columns and it will be able to create a trigger for other columns and exclude these columns so i don't care about these five or ten five six of uh, these uh, um, um, tables uh, where i was not able to create the trigger but the question is here we can create uh, the trigger on the system table so we we are successfully uh, able to generate or create the triggers on a uh, system table so right now we have 38 those are system triggers and now we have created some and the, those are 179 so subtract that so we can see how many we created so we created 141 triggers and I'm using a SQL Server 2014 so these there are a couple of errors we can remove them and create the triggers on them so that shows us uh, it is uh, it's possible to create the trigger on system tables now let's go to one of the system table and let's try to update something and see what we have here let me get directly from the query sys dot uh, maybe jobs sys jobs sorry so this is one of the system table we have here if uh, I will update the value here update set and uh, I'm going to enable is equal to 0 4 where job ID is equal to I'm gonna select any ID here okay so if I run this one it should uh, run a trigger see inside our trigger we have select star, uh, star from inserted so this record is coming from there if i go to message messages it will show us the trigger ran successfully so this trigger is working uh, on sys uh, jobs system table but uh, we if you ask me will i go ahead and create the triggers on this uh, system table i don't think so i will do that so i will find another way to handle this situation because there could be possibilities uh, this trigger will not work because they are system uh, tables and uh, there could be a code written on them that can uh, ignore your triggers so that might not work or might create problems so uh, while uh, SQL server is running uh, uh, you don't want to mess up with the system objects um, one more thing uh, now we have created the triggers 
what I would like to do, I would like to drop these triggers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and drop these ones so you can see that. I have the script on the blog and I am going to put in the description as well the link so you can take from there, create the triggers and drop them and make sure you are using the same, same databases and the names and you are not making changes. You do not want to mess up with the, the system triggers. So I have this exactly same uh, trigger name so I'm gonna drop all those from MSDB. Let's run this one. So now it showed us all of the triggers are dropped successfully. Let's go back and if we run this one we should be getting 38 records those were system triggers or already shipped with Microsoft so that's um, that's the answer on timetables no you cannot create uh, triggers on system table you can but it's not recommended to you know um, start making changes on the system objects but there is a possibility if you would like to and test it thoroughly before you implement in any prod or UAT environment uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video